What's going on guys? Welcome to our YouTube channel. My name is Ryan Roots. I am an online reseller selling stuff on places like eBay and Amazon. And on our YouTube channel, you'll find a lot of videos on how to become a more successful reseller online, as well as some helpful tutorials like this one today. So today's video is actually gonna serve two pretty important purposes. Number one being, we want you guys to see how we take pictures for eBay, how we set up our systems so that we get the best, cleanest pictures for eBay and then also how we store our items once pictures have been taken how we store them and how we package them so that when they get to the customer the customers are very very happy and then purpose number two for making this video we're actually going to be hiring another employee here in the next couple weeks and her job is going to be to come in and take pictures of our items and pack them away so this video is also going to be a tutorial for that new hire so that she can look back and see exactly Exactly how we like things done so this will be cool because you get to see our process but it's also good for us because now we'll have documentation for our new hire where she can see exactly how we like things done so with that being said let's go take some pictures of some items and show you guys how we do things all right guys so Callie is gonna show you first the supplies that she uses to take pictures and how to make the pictures look really good first you'll need a camera. This is the Canon Rebel T5i with your standard 18 to 55 millimeter kit lens. <laughs> nice, okay. The next item you'll need is one of our extra large coat hangers. And if you guys wanna know how to make one of those large hangers, Allie and Callie made a video which I'll link up here somewhere. So next, we have some poly bags. So we have two different size poly bags, one for larger items and one for smaller items. Today, I'm gonna show you how to take pictures of a men's dress shirt. So for the actual pictures, here's how our current setup is. We have this large white photo paper wall that we set up, and we have a ring light. This is an LED ring light with the diffuser off. We put the diffuser on for like videos, filming and stuff, but for pictures, we leave it off to get the most light. And then we have a box light on the left hand side and then up at the top we have another box light that we've mounted on top of this wall and this is the back side of that same wall you can see the photo paper right there and then up at the top is where our light is we literally just taped the light up with ebay tape <laughs> so the first thing callie does is she takes our giant hanger that they made and she puts the shirt on the hanger so i like to put my arm through the neck because these big hangers are hard to get through the neck, so you go through the bottom. Mmm. And ta-da! Nice. So then the shirt now gets hung up on the wall. There's a little nail actually stuck into the wood there so that the hanger fits nicely on there. And you guys can see it's already kind of flat lay. It looks like a flat lay on a table or on the ground, but we hang it on the wall with the white photo paper so that it looks like it's floating. And this, guys, is what the final product looks like hung on the wall. So now, Callie is gonna snap a couple pics of it. Or actually, first, she gets the measurements, right, Callie? Yes, sir. So Callie uses a yardstick to grab the chest measurements from armpit to armpit, and then she also gets from the top of the collar to the bottom of the shirt for the length measurement. So for the measurements, we like to use this really cool picture frame that Allie made. So it's got the size, chest, and length on there and we just add either letters or numbers chest was 25 inches length was 29 inches so Allie picked these wooden letters up at some store and then bought a wooden stain pen and just painted them so the back is just plain wood and they look cute so now Callie actually takes a picture of this picture frame and it gets added into the eBay listing as an actual picture so that the customer can easily see exactly what the size of the item is and it looks just like that on the listing. So now Callie takes a few pictures of the actual item hanging on the wall. She gets a picture of the whole item, the front of it, and then she goes into the collar and gets a picture of the label and the collar. And then she also gets a picture of the extra buttons and if there's any special labels on the inside of the item. And then she turns it over and gets a picture of the back of the item. So typically she's getting between three to four pictures of the actual item and then plus the picture of the measurements. So once all the pictures are taken, Callie takes the item back to the packaging area and she gets it ready for shipping. Oh my gosh, the background is crazy. <laughs> now look at the 
mess. Don't look at the mess. Our warehouse is a mess right now. <laughs> so the hanger comes back out. So for that item, would you grab a small or a large bag? I'm thinking I can fit this into one of the smaller bags. Give it a shot. So you want to lay your shirt flat with the button side down. So when you fold it in, you get the collar looking all nice and stuff. You'll see what I mean when I'm, when I'm done with this. So grab one side sleeve and pull it in, just like your mama told you. And take the other sleeve or the same sleeve, fold it down. Then you go for the other side, flippity flopper over. Make sure that your lines are nice and straight. Why am I doing country boys? <laughs> and then I basically just roll it up to the top. So you grab the bottom, tuck it. Ooh, pretty. Oh, very nice. Cool. Ta -da. That is a super nice fold job. I actually didn't even know how to do that. Very nice, Callie. Really? Yeah, I had no idea. So this is gonna fit in this little poly bag then. Yeah, with a thank you note. Ah, uh, yes, okay, so the thank you note comes into play now, and do you put, where do you put it, on the collar? I or? put the shirt in the bag first, and then I slide her in. All right, go for it. Like so. Ooh, it slides in so nice. Look, it fits perfectly. Cool. And then this, I like to slide in with the white side up, mm. which is opposite of what Allie likes. <laughs> but when I do that, I can write the bin number. Oh, true. And it's easy to see, so I'll just write cool. the bin number on there. And if you look over here, I usually keep track on a notebook. So bin Y, item number one, the shirt we just took photos of. Nice. Do you, you seal up the bags too, right? Yes. Cool. I like to use my body <laughs> to <laughs> Awesome. Perfect fit. Cool. Very nice. And then we'll put a number one. That's a terrible one. I know. <laughs> so and this is what the final product looks like. And this goes from here into a bin. And then when the item sells, that bag will go into a blue poly bag and get shipped directly to the customer. So that goes directly into bin Y and it's number one. Cool. Yep. Very cool. Thanks so much, Callie. No problem. Appreciate it. So now guys, I'm gonna take the pictures from Callie that she just took and we'll switch over to my laptop and I'll show you guys how we list but also how we use eBay's editing tools to get that nice, crisp, white background. Mm-hmm. Okay, so now I got all my pictures loaded onto my laptop. I just copy them into a folder that I call Pics. So you can see I've got my five pictures in my Pics folder. And then we're just gonna go to eBay, and then I just search for the item that I'm gonna list. So Orvis men's long sleeve plaid dress shirt, and I try to find a similar comp. Uh, so I look for sold listings, sold recent listings, and then we just hit the sell one like this button. And it will pull up the listing with everything kind of already in here. And then I just, you know, I change, I modify the title to how we like to list, which is the brand first, and then the size, and the color, and then any other keywords that we want to put in the title, we make sure that the title matches how we like to list. So once the title's done, then I just scroll down, I make sure that I put the, put it in the right store category, which for this one would be men's clothing button-ups for us. Make sure that you put pre-owned and then we fill in the condition description, which this is where we put the actual condition of the item, but then we also put, please see the pictures for full item condition and to see the item measurements because remember we put the measurements as a picture in the listing and then once that's done we just add our photos to the actual listing like i said the pictures are already in the folder upload the five pictures that we have and while those upload i'll scroll down and fill in like all of our item specifics and the price of the item and everything else that we want to go into the actual listing we also use custom templates for our description, which I won't go too much into, but basically it just puts in our return policy and our shipping policy. We're gonna list this shirt for $27.77, and it will be going first class mail. So now that my pictures are uploaded, I take the measurements picture and I put it to the last picture, so it'll be the fifth one in here. And then you can see for the main picture, I just like to crop it down. Uh, you wanna go with a square, sized picture because that's what looked best on eBay and eBay mobile and you can see it actually looks pretty good just like this there's a little button down here that does autocorrect sometimes that works for your pictures but in this case it doesn't so I'm going to click on this button and use the lighting and the contrast to clean up the white background so you guys can see here in the corners it's kind of dingy if I adjust the brightness and the contrast you can see that dinginess goes away so that the picture, the background of the picture is pure white. And if you click on it and enlarge it, you can see now it is a very nice 
picture. With the rest of the pictures, I don't worry about editing them. I just crop them down so that they look clean. So crop those ones down and save them. I just want the main picture to look fantastic and then the rest of them can look fine. They don't have to be perfect, but they just need to look good. Then I recheck everything to make sure it's how we want it to be listed. And then if you go to the very bottom of it, you can click preview listing and that will show you exactly how the item is gonna look once it goes live on eBay. So you can see our main picture, it looks really, really good. The price is in there. Everything is how we like to list the item. And then obviously once you're happy with everything, you just hit submit the listing and then it goes live on eBay. Success, you've listed your item for sale. And there you go guys. Hopefully that helps you see how we take pictures, how we get really good pictures for eBay and then how we edit those pictures so that they, <laughs> so that they look really good on eBay. So thank you Callie for all your help. We really appreciate it. No problem. And thank you guys for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up and if you need links to any of the products that you saw in this video, we put links in the description of our YouTube video. You can click on those and go buy the same things that we use. Thanks guys so much for hanging out and we'll see you on the next video. Bye bye. Bye.